So, I want to talk to you guys a bit about drags and what I'm going to do to try and better that time. Obviously, I have done some mods since then. Um, most of you guys have followed. I've done the boost controller, down pipes, full exhaust, um, intakes, etc. There's a rather large, gritty trust intercooler. <laughs> What's up guys, Nelson here. So I'm doing something a bit different today. Um, as the title says, it's Drag Prep Part 1. Next week's Sunday, I'm participating in a drag or quarter mile event. I haven't done one of these for about three years plus minus. Um, basically got the car, moved to a city called Johannesburg. Um, went through to ODR, ran a couple of times. Nothing impressive. The car still running on 0 0.7 bar with the restrictor pull in it. Um, no mods other than a catback exhaust. Ran a 13.1, launching like a noob. I was basically holding the clutch full in, holding the revs, dumping the clutch, bogging. I managed to get one off the line decently. Most of you know. I've generally been in the Subaru game or Subaru game. Um, I've had nine scoops before. My first GTR, um, not my first Nissan. I didn't want to break it at that time, so I was launching terribly. I didn't want to do anything to the car. Um, it's taken me three years to actually start working on the car. A um, couple of bits and bobs here and there. Now, I want to better these times by quite a bit. I want to possibly break into the 11s. There are guys that have ran, run 11.4s, 11.5s. Um, some very impressive videos out there from Ben S on YouTube. I'm going to link him in the description. Um, there should be a card that will pop up on your screen now. Ben ran his stock twin turbo setup 11.8 in Australia. Very impressive. He's been giving me a couple tips, so big ups to Ben. I'm just going to discuss a couple of things and... Hopefully this will help someone better their times. I'm going to put it to the test next week Sunday. So let's see how it goes. So the first thing I want to talk about is weight removal or re reduction. Um, it, it's a big thing on the cars. Um, these aren't the lightest of cars. I've tried to shred down as much weight as possible by removing a whole host of items. And I'm going to take you around the back of the garage. So you guys know that I removed my rear seats. Um, I have gone a little bit further and I've started pulling out a little bit more than that. So, hopefully you can see, I generally do most of the work at night as I'm rather busy during the day. So rear speakers are out, clear and amplifiers out finally. Um, mat is out underneath the mat. Oh, sorry, it's over here, there's a cardboard. Um, that's out. Rear seats are out. Um, this is the back where the speakers are. And a couple other bits and bobs. I can't take my torch around as it's plugged into the car, but you get the idea. So this is what the rear of the car looks like. I am going to pull the spare wheel out and the jack out on the day. This is how the car is going to sit permanently. Um, I don't use the back seats at all. It's my weekend warrior. I'll be tracking the car. There's absolutely no need for me to have any trim. So I've pulled off all the plastic bits that surround everything. Carpets, mats, etc. And you can see right through into the cabin. Okay. So let me take you back inside. So this is the rear. Pretty simple job to do. It's taken about 40 minutes. Um, obviously reassembling would take a hell of a lot longer. The hardest part was to get the speakers out really. You just need the right set of tools. It's number 8 socket. Um, I had to use a spanner and different types of screwdrivers. Managed to pop them out. Um, 
I'm probably going to put that plastic piece back over here where I'm shining the torch just so it'll look a little bit cooler. Um, obviously on the day I'm going to leave it off. I have no idea how much any of this stuff weighs. Um, I am going to do a weigh in probably in the next two weeks or so. Um, I'll let you guys know how much I've managed to shed off by doing that. Um, yeah. So that's weight reduction in a nutshell. Obviously, you can go a little bit further than I've gone. Um, a lot of guys pull out aircon condensers, the heater matrix, quite a few things. I don't want to touch any of that just yet. I don't have time at the moment. I do want to do it. Um, this is going to be a dedicated weekend car and track car. I, I do have another daily driver. Um, what guys generally do is they go all out. They pull out the ceiling mats. Um, they pull out sun visors, heater matrix. The Harkas is roughly 60 kilos on its own. Um, I've still got the Harkas on my car. So I'm basically pulling out what I can reach and what's easy for me to do right now with a limited amount of time. So in a nutshell, that's weight reduction. So next item I want to talk about is tire pressure. Um, obviously, better branding of tires would help. Um, I'm currently running Federal RSRs 595. Um, I've been told best to run them at roughly 25-26 PSI on the rear. So that would be roughly about 1.6 to 1.7 bar. Um, I am going to run the front probably 2 bar, between 1.9 and 2 bar. That's 28, 29 PSI. See what it'll do. Um, obviously with the lower tire pressure on the rear, the tires will appear to be wider on the road. Um, I'm not entirely sure on the entire concept of it. You can Google it, just figure it out. But um, obviously there'll be more surface if there's lower tire pressure, the tire will kind of widen itself out um, and I'll get more grip and we should be able to launch quite nicely. So that's tyres, uh, pretty straightforward. Um, I'm driving the car to the track, I'm not trailing it, so I'm going to run tyre pressure as per normal, 2.4, 2.5 bar, just before I get there I'm going to drop tyre pressures and go from there. Next is suspension. So in terms of suspension, I'm going to leave the front, I've got the Tain coilovers, um, I'm going to leave the front medium to hard there are little adjustment knobs on the top so these click every time you adjust them if you can hear that now these adjustment knobs will obviously to the left make it softer to the right harder i'm going to zero everything out and i'm going to go relatively soft in the back and medium hard in the front the theory or the concept on this is when you launch the back of the car is going to hunker itself down the front's going to lift and hopefully you're going to take off like a rocket i haven't tried this yet when i ran i ran full hard setup the car was horrible to drive so to say the least um like i said i just got the car i didn't want to tinker too much to see what it does so i'm going all out on the suspension side of thing uh, wheel alignment, um, you can go a standard setup, obviously don't go full negative track setup. Um, slightly positive is fine, or slightly negative is even okay. Obviously I need to get the car running nicely. Most of you have seen, out, seen the other video that I had, um, boosting, the, the, the car is driving pretty well. Um, set up picking up speed very quickly however i'm gonna attempt to run scramble boost for a little while um possibly five seconds or so i'm gonna attempt doing it in third or fourth if you don't know what scramble boost is it's a setting on the boost controller that will allow you to get more boost for a couple of seconds so you can decide on how many seconds you want additional boost I'll show you now. so here's a familiar face um, 
click the mod button once that's going to take you to your first option of scramble boost now remember in my other video this is percentage based so you would set up your boost how you want it if you want to hit your scramble boost you are going to change your percentage wise so let's say i want an extra 10 from what it currently is i'm going to select 10 and i'll push mod again mod is going to say how many seconds do i want this to boost higher for so i'm going to choose five seconds or six seconds i'm going to probably go for about five seconds on the day that's all you need to do really once you're boosting i might use this and i might use it in third gear more than likely for third gear when i'm boosting and i don't have to change gears i will hold down the scramble boost button that's scrambling now so six five four three two one you would have had higher boost at that moment i'm not sure if i'm going to use it um i might do one fun run with it see what it can do um i am aware that these are ceramic turbos um hopefully they don't shit themselves let's see what happens um that's power out of the way now the next one is also speed related um i highly doubt i'm going to go over 189 k's per hour but as most of you guys know uh, these cars have got a governor 180 k's an hour um very irritating and rather embarrassing for me um, when I did race for the first time, I did the 400 meters or quarter mile and I did a one kilometer stretch. When we did that, I thought I was going to be 230, 240 k's. Um, no, every pass 189 k's an hour. Very embarrassing. Um, I will do a separate video to show you guys how to remove that 180 k per hour limiter. Okay, and the last one is obviously trying to get cool air to the car. Now, I've got these HKS filters in here. Um, when the bonnet's down, there's kind of no way for air to get in here other than this tiny duct that's somewhere underneath here. Um, what I'm going to do for the event, I am going to remove my headlight and I'm going to make some sort of a mesh cover for it. So that is one thing I'm going to do. It's going to be a separate video as well. Um, obviously, you guys know about the charcoal canister. I've uh, been meaning to take that out for a long time now. That is going to come out next Wednesday too. Um, once everything's out, I'm pretty much ready to go. I'm really hoping to break into the 11s. Um, let's see how it goes. So, guys, once again, thanks very much. Uh, looking forward to you guys coming back next week, watching part two like comment subscribe if you guys have got any advice please let me know um i'm new to this I'm, i am an amateur um i'm new to these type of cars like i said i've always been in the subaru family let me know i'm i'm open to any suggestions and guys big shout out to ben again he's been great help um see you guys next week thanks